started the RV video tutorial on the susceptible, exposed, infected, and recovered model part two. So if you haven't watched the previous video, you might want to go back and do that because I'm going to use the code from last time and I'm just going to make some minor modifications to the model so that you can see how you can adjust this model to be more realistic. I'm not going to talk about all the pieces here that I have before. I just have my initial values. I have some parameters. I'm going to add in a parameter and then we're going to... The states are going to stay the same. Our compartments are going to stay the same in this case. So we're not going to be adding to it. We're just going to be changing our model so that people who are exposed, you know, from the last time we said these are people who are exposed, but they're not sick and they're walking around. Well, we want to say, well, a lot of those people just go on and they become recovered. They're no longer an infected person and they can no longer expose other people to that. And that's what we want to add into this model. So we're going to have to move some people out of the exposed group and into the recovered group, skipping over the infection group. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And how we do this, you will have to be a little bit careful with, but it shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, and what we're going to do is pay attention to how long these are. So if I was here and it took 14 days to get sick and I spent seven days there, that's about 21 days. So I'm going to make another parameter here. I'm just going to call it gamma 2, and I'm going to make it 1 over 21. So these are people who are being moved from the exposed group directly to the recovered group. Okay, so keep that in mind. So we have to remember we're changing it at the at here at the exposed group, and we're going to move them to the recovered group. Okay, so we're taking them out of here. So that's gamma 2 times our E0N. Okay, so these are getting removed from here and they're going to be added to our recoveries. Okay, so these people do not pass through the actual being sick state. Okay, and we can see how this affects the dynamics. Here are the dynamics from before and then we'll look at how the dynamics here play out. Notice I didn't really change a whole lot. I just subtracted some people out of here and added them into here. Now, in the next video, what we'll do is we'll take and have another parameter here where we're having susceptible people actually interact with the infected people. That's another flavor of this model. There's lots of flavors of it, so you just need to be aware of what co possible flavors there are and that there's really not a unique one. So if you go look around, there's lots of ways you can construct this model. Okay, so if I have this set up this way, I don't really need to do anything else but run it and see what it does to the dynamics. Now, look what it did. It did a lot to the dynamics, by the way. If I come here, notice that not everybody who are the susceptibles ever catches this thing in this version. And a lot of people are recovered, and the orange is these sort of people who walk around, and a lot of them get sick. Now, when I move to my new model, notice a lot less people are getting sick and it's taking a lot longer for it to move through. And a lot less people from the susceptible group ever become, in, become infected at all. Okay, because remember, these people are not walking around like they were before. Before they were just walking around constantly. We never removed them from that group unless they got sick. Here, we're taking them out early, so notice less susceptible people get the infection. Now, this is an interesting way of looking at these dynamics. Also, notice that it moves much slower because people can jump, or there's less people moving into this red group, right? There's a lot less people moving in because they don't have to get sick to get into the recovered group. All right, so in the next video, what we'll do is we'll play around with having the infected people interact with the susceptible people, and then we should have something that's more of a, what I want to consider, correct sort of model. Uh, but there's different flavors of it, and there's no correct model. And it doesn't match up with our data, so I might skip the next video for a little while and then come back and fill it in, or I might put it up right away. So, but either way... See you in the next video.